Hey girls, you wanna know what the easiest way to get a D1 scholarship is? I got you. That's right, girls and parents, listen up. If you're looking for some scholarship money, look no further than Women's College Golf. Hey, I'm Emily Gilbreth. I played at the University of Houston, um, and I am a Houston native, and I got to be part of the first women's program in history. I don't think a lot of people know um, how many scholarships are actually out there. You know, when people think of women's golf, they think of D1 but there's a lot of unclaimed money at the D2 and the D3 level as well. Exactly, and some of the reasons that money goes unclaimed is because of the misconception of how good you have to be. There is sort of an assumption that you have to be a scratch golfer to get a scholarship. For the D2 and the D3 level, if you shoot right around, you know, if you're breaking 90 and you shoot right around 85, um, you have a good shot at, at scooping one of those up. Obviously, coaches look at more than just average scores when it comes to scholarships. They scrutinize state and national tournament experience. But generally speaking, let's look at some rough numbers. For Division I, coaches are looking at incoming freshmen shooting average scores between 70 and 80. D2 between 75 and 85. And then when you start talking D3 and NAIA, girls are getting scholarships shooting anywhere between 80 and 95. If any girls are looking to play college golf like I did, and you're right on the cusp of you know, getting that scholarship or shooting those better scores, I would look into getting fit. And that fits the segue to why we're filming this segment at Cool Clubs. If the chance at a scholarship is a matter of strokes, one of the easiest ways to drop a few is making sure you're playing the right equipment. Again, you don't have to be a scratch golfer to snag one of these scholarships. You just have to clean up your game just a little bit. And honestly, maybe the quickest way to do that is to you know, get fit, get better equipment, or take a look at it. I actually got fit at Cool Clubs my sophomore year of high school, and once I got more comfortable with the sticks in my hand, it was game over. It helped my game tremendously, and I went on to play college golf. I'm real, like I, I did it. <laughs> there you go, good swing. Fittings are important because if you go and buy clubs off the shelf, they're not necessarily consistent. Everybody has a stiff shaft, but one company's stiff is the same as another company's regular, is the same as another company's extra stiff. If you get in the right frequency, um, that'll help you know, keep your dispersion tighter. It'll help keep you in the fairway. So one of the things that we can do here is dial in using data and figure out what flex shaft you need, what loft and lie your clubs need to be. Sometimes all we have to do is change the shaft. Sometimes it's a whole club. And sometimes the club is fine, but the data will tell us that. We're completely data driven. Quite often when you walk into a shop, they just assume since you're a gal, they hand you a certain length club. Well, I'm 5'8", somebody else might be 5'3". We don't necessarily need the same length club because the distance our hands are off the ground. Getting fit tightens all the numbers, tightens all the performance of each of the individual clubs. And they say that getting fit into the right equipment is worth five strokes on its own. If the difference between you getting a scholarship is about four or five strokes, um, I would say, you know, fitting is probably a no-brainer. With the putting, what we do is figure out what type of stroke the player has and what type of putter they need in order to work best with that stroke to give them the best chance to hold out those balls. You have 14 clubs, let's make sure all 14 of them fit. This is totally worth it to do before your freshman year. I mean, 100%, get your equipment tuned up, get it right, you know, get ready to go. That was something that I wish I had done as a college freshman. By increasing the success and the fun, because the equipment fits, then a lot of these gals will want to go play in high school, play in college, and play beyond. Golf has opened so many doors for me. I mean, I, I have no debt from college. Um, I know that the debt crisis is a huge thing going on right now. Um, and I don't know how many people my age can say that. So I'm very fortunate that, you know, that was provided to me. You know, the friendships and the people that I've met just in college and even in my professional career, those are relationships that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. Um, I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't have done it any other way. Now for those gals out there looking for a college scholarship, you've got to make sure the equipment is right and the equipment fits. So when you put a good swing on the club, the ball does what it's supposed to do. And that just increases your chances of scoring better, brings your handicap down, and increases the opportunities that you have for a scholarship. Get fit, get a scholarship. <laughs>